welcome back guys today we'll be attempting continue with most water this is the problem number 11 in lead code okay let's move on to the description given n non-negative integers a1 a2 till a n where each represents a point at a coordinate i comma a i n vertical lines are drawn such that the two end points of line i is at i a i and i zero okay find two lines which together with x axis forms a container such that the container contains the most water okay so long story short what they're telling us is that they'll give us n different rods with different heights and our task is to you know pick any two arbitrary rods and find the maximum uh, water that you know these two rods can store in between so we're just trying to form a container that stores the maximum amount of water so uh, the first thing is first how will you you know calculate the amount of water that uh, these two rods will store in between so i'll try to explain that using this image only just give me a second okay yeah so let's start so this was the initial phase of the question when you know the answer was not known to us so i'll just solve using that only okay so how will you find the amount of water that two rods store between them so that's very simple suppose i i just uh, take this as rod 2 and this is as rod 3 right so how much water will this rod 2 and rod 3 store in between so what is the difference what is the amount of gap between them i think i'll just call it as one unit fair right so the gap they have in between is one unit and uh, uh, let's say if if uh, the water was like this if if we try to solve this much water this water will overflow right this water will you know it will just go down so how much water can we store we can only store this much water right this is the amount of water that you know these two rods can store in between so how do you calculate that just the gap between two rods and uh, the one that has less number of height i hope that's clear right so this is how you calculate the amount of water that any two arbitrary rods can store in between now how can you uh, solve this question mm, the first thing that uh, comes to your mind might be brute force just you know uh, solve uh, solve all the possible combinations that you can make like this uh, solve you know uh, form all the combination between any two rods and at the end of the day uh, whichever one is giving you the maximum answer that will be your answer yes you can do that but uh, yeah that will be n square and that's not very cool so uh, we'll try a different approach and uh, what i'll choose is i'll choose a two pointer solution okay the first pointer will be point to the first rod the second pointer will be point to the last rod okay the what what i'll do is we know that you know uh, the the higher the gap the the more water that you know those two continue can store that is possible it it is not uh, it can it's not always but that is highly likely right uh, if yeah here the rod is very small but if it was you know even a little bit taller it would have given us a great advantage but that's not the issue right now so what i'll do is i've given the pointers to uh, the first rod and the last rod right so i'll just calculate how much water these two uh, these two rods are storing in between so yeah how much will they store the gap in between them and uh, uh, whichever one of them has the lesser height right so i'll get uh, the I'll get the uh, amount that they are storing and what i'll do is i'll simply store uh, store that in a variable let's say i'll call it answer okay i'll store that in the variable answer and after that what i'll do is since the gap will start to reduce one uh, a little bit little so what do you think which will be more advantages for me to take the smaller rod or the larger rod the smaller rod uh, the smaller rod will never be able to you know store more water than the large uh, than the larger rod because the, you know the distance is the distance is you know, decreasing one by one so I'll just pick the rod that is, you know, uh, that has less amount of water. Sorry, that is, uh, that is larger. So this is the larger rod. So my second pointer will remain here. But about my first pointer, I'll just move it to here. I'll move it one step forward. Okay. Now I'll calculate how much water uh, these two rods will store. Okay. And if this is greater than the value that my previous answer hold it, I'll just replace it. Done. Okay. After that, I'll compare which one of them is greater. And uh, yeah, I know that uh, this one is greater so what i'll do is i'll simply uh you know this uh, this is where my second pointer was so i'll move it one step forward it will come here and uh, yeah now i'll calculate how much water these are storing and uh, again which one of them is smaller so this is smaller and uh, right this this rod is smaller so what i'll do is i'll move the second pointer here simple and again i'll calculate how much water both of them are storing since both of them are equal it doesn't matter which height to take but uh, the gap if you if you take a look at this then the gap is you know decreasing sequentially the gap is now only this much let's say how much unit one two three four five five unit and uh, eight so 40 the answer that you will get from this is 40 right so after that uh, you see that okay both of them are, are of equal height so it doesn't matter which pointer you choose uh, so let's say i just you know i just bring this one here okay and after that again you compare the height and you store that answer if it is greater you store it and answer and uh, this way when will you stop 
you won't stop till the time you know uh, uh, till the time left pointer is equal to right pointer because you know uh, one way or another one of the uh, these two pointers they will meet at you know some at some uh, some rod right because they will come to an end so at that point whichever one of uh, you know whatever the value our answer is storing that will be answer so by the way the answer for this is uh, these two rods uh, how much value how much sorry how much uh, water were they able to store so sorry the the, the gap between them was like uh, seven units and uh, uh, the minimum height of this was seven so seven into seven and the answer that you will get is what it will be 49 so yeah that is the answer if if you had pick, uh, picking up these two rods then the answer was 40 right so 49 is greater and that will remain as the answer so now let's move on to the coding part of how we are supposed to solve this okay so <clears throat> let's start the first thing that i want is my answer my answer will uh, will be zero initially right and after that i have my two pointers my left pointer will be equal to zero my right pointer will be equals to uh, the length of the, the length of the you know the height and uh, i'll say minus one yeah r equals to length of height minus one yeah done with that and after that when will i uh, till 10 will i iterate while l is less than r right uh, till the time uh, both of the containers are not equal so what will be my answer my answer will be max of either my previous value that my answer hold it or or uh, sorry or uh, minimum of minimum of these containers sorry minimum of these heights let it be maybe sorry minimum of these heights that will be maybe l or maybe r because you know we uh, we want the minimum height of the rod uh, into into uh, the distance between them so how do you calculate the distance really simple just subtract r minus l yeah so that will be my answer and now i just need to uh, you know choose which uh, pointer should i move so uh, let's say <coughs> if can why did i write container sorry if height of l is greater than height of let's say r okay so what i see is uh, if the height of r l is greater than height of r which means the the the, the the height of the rod that is on the right side is smaller than what i do is i i simply decrease the size of that by one otherwise what i do is i say okay uh, increase the size oh, sorry uh, just move the, the the left pointer to you know one step forward and at the end of the day you just read on your answer and uh, yeah we are done so let me try to run this code and let's see if it works or not yeah so it is accepted and let's try to submit this now all right so we got an accuracy of only 85.22 percent Mm. well if you think that you have some sort of better approach than this please do mention that in the comment section i love to see it okay now it even decreased more so runtime is now 132 ms fingers crossed last time summit please less ah not okay one more chance okay 132 ms so yeah we did we did actually it uh, in 128 ms so that will be our answer that will be what i say okay so yeah this was a solution for this uh, container with most water and thank you for watching this if you have a better answer please do mention that in the comment section okay thank you